good, y'all, man? We back. Another video, man. How y'all doing? Y'all doing great today. Today we got terrifying things caught in Louisiana. Yeah, we're gonna get to the video, man. The boot state. You know. Yeah, let me see the video. Famous for its Cajun and Creole cuisine, Mardi Gras celebration, jazz music, and it's known as the birthplace of American blues. But mm -hmm. that doesn't mean it's perfect. Whether it's Texas, New York, California, or Louisiana, oh, nah, terrifying things happen worldwide, no matter how safe you feel. Today, we've put Louisiana Man, under the microscope, showing off the side of this place that you would never want to see. Make sure Man, you watch to the Louise. end and see what I mean. Hurricane Ida ravages Louisiana. This footage is Hurricane Ida as it tears through different parts of Louisiana. You can see the wind buffeting the streets. When Ida came, it was a Category 4 storm and it's considered one of the worst storms in the history of Louisiana. It brought with it torrential rainfall as you can see in the videos while the wind speed is up to 150 miles an hour. The Mississippi can be seen Hope rising I'll never cities have warning this about this the possibility of flash floods. We are here in the heart of New Orleans just as this storm has made landfall. And the thing is, bro, this joint just brought me something because like the weather people be be all in the heart of the storm, in the middle of the storm, don't nothing be happening to them, but all around them, everything be happening, bro. Something ain't right about that. These winds are you supposed to be this going Mississippi. <laughs> this storm is testing the city's flood protection system. You can see trees being torn apart like they're merely twigs with little resistance. Notice the tree lying forlorn on the floor and how the hurricane wouldn't let it be even while it's been torn to the floor. It continues to be tugged on, dragging it along. Is that next slide a roof being torn off a home? You can still see the footage of the trees with their branches torn off at the stem to the top or even to the sides. Everything about the hurricane mm -hmm. is scary, and you can't help but feel a deep concern for the people who were actually there, mm -hmm. living through that storm. Gator demands to have its rights respected. Karen Balamain of Kenner, Louisiana called 911 when an alligator got on her driveway and decided it wasn't going anywhere. I've never seen an alligator hiss like that. The gator was hiding from the hot sun under Karen's Alligator's car and she only crazy, got to see man. it when she moved her vehicle. But trying to get the beast out of the way proved to be a task beyond her. So I just came in here. I'd be forgetting because Louisiana be having alligators. Just like how Florida be having giant alligator. thing. She called Kenner police, who in turn called animal control. Even with the animal control on the street, guys on the scene, the gator still vehemently refused to leave the driveway, turning and tossing in protest of its right to get some shade where it could. Oh, he's now. The alligator is six feet long and puts up a strong fight for its spot. He took up almost the, the whole driveway. An alligator trapper came along and helped resolve the situation. He took off his top and wrapped it around the gator, then lay right on top of it. He took his shirt off, and he said when you put the, take the shirt off and cover the alligator, it calms him down, and it did. Whether he's trying to cool or warm it up, I can't tell, but whatever he was doing was working, and the gator appears to be calmer than <laughs> hey him. Hey, man, he know, he know what he's doing. A counter police officer comes up and helps to tie up the gator's mouth before the gator trapper carries the beast into a van and took it to where it was released back to a habitat it would be more familiar with. Watching that shirtless man trying to calm the gator down is both funny and weird, but since it worked, I guess it works. <laughs> Don't. I, mean, I guess you know what he was doing. Try this at home. Don't try this Scary at home. Scary coffins float on Louisiana streets. Scary coffins. Trouble never comes in manageable chunks. Coffins? If you've ever had to deal with flooding, you know how devastating it can be, but the worst is when the flood begins to unearth coffins and carry them around the streets. Oh, man. Here's one thing crazy. everyone unanimously agrees with. When a body is buried, it should stay buried. But for some parts of Louisiana, there will have to be a reburying of unearthed bodies. The flood was so bad that the government had to declare a state of emergency as the devastating flood continued to wreak havoc on Louisiana communities following what was over 17 inches of rainfall. Damn, the coffins are in different stages inches? of decay, from fresh looking, recently buried, to ugly and decaying bits. You don't want to walk out of your house at night and see any of these floating by. It'll give you the biggest scare of your life. Man, you'd be scared Besides the coffins it. floating above the water down the streets, you can see the flood rising in places. Notice the adorable puppies. Look away if you're oh, a cat man. person. What the world? <laughs> she just pulled him out of his mouth? I mean, I... Unbelievable. Hopefully he got them to a safe place before the flood rises even further in the area. It was two inches when I left this morning and it's now about three feet in my house. Wow. So, I'm just trying to get these dogs out and I'm good now. I gotta find a shelter. In the same way that he's running about to get them to hey, safety, man. you can imagine that others are scrambling as well. Clumsy robber. Clumsy robber. Watches this man who's said to have robbed a credit union in Louisiana. 
You can see as he tried to make his escape. He fell the first time, <laughs> flailing as he fell, his arms flying Man, all over the place the like he doesn't have control it. Then he falls again, those arms flailing as they did before. He gets up, tries to run again, and guess what? He falls a third time. What kind of robber falls three times trying to escape after committing a crime? What's wrong with it, man, bro? Two, three times. One of the men watching the viral video has the right words. You just have to fall once. He's a lucky man because all you gotta do is fall once. At least that's the way it is in the movies. Another comments that he has <laughs> no, never seen anything he like this in all his life. Man, you got to be out of your mind. It's the craziest thing to watch. The clumsiness and inability <laughs> to stand on his feet should have disqualified him from the job. Here's the kicker, though. He could away. Have you ever seen anything like mm -mm. that? Mm -mm. Mm -mm. He sounds like, mm -mm. Mm -mm. And he got away. And he got away. How does he manage to get away after I bet falling he, so I bet many he times? I bet he wish now he was falling with flailing arms too. He managed to drop his mask and some of the cash in his clumsiness before he got to his getaway car and escaped. This must be the weirdest escape of a criminal ever recorded. Even the people he robbed would get a good chuckle out of this video. Yeah, wait, bro. Sinkhole takes trees down. Sinkhole. When the the video opens, the surface of the water is very calm, but you can see how peaceful the whole place is. Nothing is moving, not even the water. But even as you watch this relative piece, the makers of the video could already see the end coming. You could hear them say, it's moving, but you really can't see what's moving, can you? Stay moving, stay moving, John. Yep, I got it. I got it. The only thing you really notice is the tiny bubbles over the surface of the water. Now, besides the small bubbles, look further forward, to the group of trees closest to the front. Keep your eyes on them and watch as they gradually so swallow up. They're sinking slowly into the sinkhole, not oh, keeling over man. or snapping, but sliding into the mouth of the earth like the earth was suddenly beginning to eat it up. Dude, then it happened. Crazy. More of the trees along the same line are also going down with him. Soon, they're oh, all swallowed man. up without a sign left to show that the trees ever existed there moments ago. What in the world? How did they even happen? The surface of the water is muddy now, and the lower stem of the tree is still standing Ooh, no, now showing bro. visibly above the water, showing that the that water happen? level is lower or that the sinkhole it's probably crazy. took a little gulp as well. The sinkhole simply ate the trees up without spitting any bit of them out. When you look at the height of the trees, they would be in the safe place. They would be in the safe place because ain't the no way they just watching them. To take them full length of these trees, car crashes into a driving school. Car crashes into a driving what do you do at a driving school? Learn to drive. Apparently, this driver chose the most iconic way to say, I can't drive. He crashes his car into Southwest Safety Training, a driving school. The video the world, bro. <laughs> opens with an uneventful vista. Park cars, then the SFT building, looking as peaceful as it can be. I enjoyed it being to the, 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 be into the driving car. school. Bro. What he was intending to capture is unknown to us as he keeps his camera pointed forwards. A man is seen stepping out of a white car. Moments afterwards, you see a car tearing from the other side of the street and smash straight into the training school building, smashing right through the front door, taking out one of the pillars as it peels right through. Oh, oh my, my god. god! Holy I wait, You hear one of the people in the car ask, anybody in there? And the video maker responds, yeah, there's somebody in there. Bro, where'd they come from? There people in there? What happened? Yeah, there's somebody in there. We'll learn later that no one was hurt in the incident. Yet, the biggest question from this video isn't simply about how the driver went <laughs> off-road to slam into this building. It's more about what the driver was offered as punishment for his error. And here, we hope he got a ticket to improve his driving and reduce the risk of such incidents in the future. Now this tornado like, damage is happening, bro. Like, what is going on, bro? The ravaging effects of storms have already been seen with the menace of Hurricane Ida, but there's just something about hurricanes, the way it swirls and gathers in this video. The person filming the video is riding in a car, his camera capturing that swirling piece of funnel cloud as it touched down. Whoa, look at that. That, is Damn. that interesting bit of cloud is a lot of damage, bro. but for now, it looks almost harmless as it rides along. On the next screen, you can see strong winds destroy a sonic drive through restaurant not far away from the place where the funnel cloud was captured. It blitzed right through and in a moment, everything is in complete disarray. The security footage from the restaurant shows the moment when high winds peeled off part of the roof and also sent it flying into the parking lot. You can see as it smacks everything around, including the cars parked in the parking lot. 
It also took parts of the roof, tossing it like pieces of weightless frisbees. The storm video was captured on the restaurant's security cam. The Buckethead Burglar. Man. The Buckethead bar Burglar. Thieves are fun to watch, especially when they think no one is watching. Their efforts to disguise their appearance can sometimes be way head. overboard, but one look at this particular burglar and you'll laugh so hard. He either forgot his mask what? at home, or this is a crime of opportunity Bruh, where he doing simply picked anything, the bucket, threw it over bro. his head, and proceeded to walk around to seafood shops. Like, like you know we in this simulation, like, people do anything, bro. Like, you could say anything, you could do anything. It's like... <laughs> Oh, stealing no, a few supplies. A Louisiana man apparently forgot his mask mm, at home. Yeah, look at this guy. The 23-year-old suspect decided to improvise with a bucket on his head. Not bad. Here he is on surveillance video robbing a seafood business where he once worked. Watch as he navigates the shop, pausing now and then to pick up what he needs. It's pretty difficult to walk around when you have a bucket without eye holes thrown over your head. Watch as he stumbles and staggers clumsily. Sometimes he lifts the bucket ever so slightly to allow himself a look around the shop that he's robbing. He didn't run into too many obstacles also. So, and that might be because he'd worked in this shop in the past, or because he used a bit of echolocation like the bats do. But whatever he's doing, oh, so he worked there before. watching him stumble around with a bucket on his head. Buckethead's an app name, isn't it? Before the last clip, since you watched until this point, why don't you consider subscribing to the channel? We upload two new creepy, disturbing, and downright scary videos every week, so stay up to date with our latest releases by getting those head. post notifications. If you enjoyed this one, we have plenty more for you on the channel, so you won't want to miss a All single right. one. There are levels to the terror thieves and burglars bring when they invade your privacy or attempt to invade your privacy. Well, it's in 10 here. Imagine this. You're asleep and in the middle of the night, you see a masked man on your doorbell camera. It's a terrifying thought, and that's what's happening uptown. It's all calling yeah, you got to handle that. You got to handle that. Recorded by his doorbell cam. You got to handle that. A man in what can only be called a really good mask can be seen trying his door to see if it's locked or opened. A really creepy looking mask. Almost like something you'd get at like a, man, like a tweaking, holiday bro. store, like a Halloween store. Yeah, right. The criminal didn't try too hard. He simply tries to turn the doorknob to see if it gives. Here's how you know he's making. You think people are gonna leave the door open? Door not open. In the house to, to see if he could break in and, and get anything. When the owner of this home shared the video with others in the community, someone shared a video of the same man captured in a different home with the same M.O. He was wearing the exact same mask. Came up to that person's front door. Also tried to get into the house. Didn't have any people, luck. People don't know what he's doing. He walks bro. up to the house at night and tries Nowadays, to see if the bro. door will give. Well, that's, well, that's in 2019, but we're in 2022, bro. Everybody has a firearm, bro. They're not. They're not finna play with you, but you coming in. They, you gone, bro. They not finna play with you, bro. Like, he doesn't try to pick the lock or break it down. He just pushes against it and walks away when it doesn't give. So we've all been talking about it and making sure to, to kind of stay on extra alert. Waking up to see someone had attempted to get into your house while you slept must be one of the most disturbing things anyone can go through. Really creepy knowing that it was the night before and, you know, didn't didn't wake up when, when it happened. That made no sense, bro. But yeah, man, the boot state, man. Um... Man, bro, crazy things in Louisiana, bro. I'm surprised they had like no voodoo, like a voodoo thing over here. You know that that's the voodoo state too, but people making voodoo dolls on you and stuff like that. But um, hope you guys like the video, man. Yeah, man. See y'all tomorrow, bro.